Hello and welcome to PolyLearn Support. In this video, I'll show you how to manually enter grades in PolyLearn. Once your students have turned in their work that isn't through PolyLearn, here's how you will enter those grades into your gradebook. An example of a grade that isn't through PolyLearn could be an in-class quiz or like a midterm grade. To enter these grades, first click on the Grades link in the left menu. Note, if your left menu is not open, you can always click this hamburger button to open it. To manually create a grade item and fill in values, click the Setup tag and make sure you are in the Gradebook Setup tab. Then scroll to the bottom of the page and hit Add Grade Item. This will bring you to the settings page for the grade item you are creating. Remember, you only need to create a grade item if the assignment is not graded through PolyLearn. The next option is to choose the grading type. There are three options, Value, Scale, and Text. Value is the classic way of grading where you define a maximum and a minimum amount of points possible and then assign points. Scale lets you pick a scale, which could be credit, no credit, the default competence scale, and separated and connected ways of knowing scale. The text option makes it so you can only give feedback on this grade item, and no actual number grade. I'm going to do value grading, so I must choose a maximum and a minimum amount of points possible. Notice at the bottom of this section it says show more. Clicking this allows you to fill in some other options such as grade to pass, grade display options, and time options for hiding and locking the item. Once your item settings have been picked, you can choose whether or not to put this grade item in a category and whether or not to weight it. When you are happy with your grade item, scroll to the bottom of the page and hit the Save Changes button. You will then be taken to a page that should recalculate all the grades and hit Continue. Now let's head back to where we could see all the grades by selecting the View tab, and then make sure we're in the Grader Report tab. To add scores, start by turning Editing on in the top right corner. Now scroll through all your grade items to find the one we just added. You can either find the scroll bar at the bottom of the page, or you can hold the Shift button and scroll with your mouse, which will scroll you sideways. Once you have found your grading item, start manually entering the student's scores. The box on the left is for scores, while the dotted boxes on the right are for feedback. To quickly enter grades, start in the top grade box, enter a grade, and then hit Tab to go to the next student. When you are done entering all the grades, be sure to hit the Enter key and let the window do a little refresh. The gear icon at the top allows you to access the settings for that grade item, and the gear icons next to each feedback box allow you to see the settings for each individual grade. The pencil icon at the top takes you to a single view for that grade item. Once you have entered the grades in the text boxes, it should update the category and course total. Note that this is not the way to grade assignments and quizzes created in PolyLearn. Quizzes will grade themselves, and you can grade assignments by clicking on the assignment link, which we will get to more in a later video. If you ever enter a score and the box turns a yellow-orange kind of color, that means you are entering a grade that was either already put in automatically by PolyLearn, or will eventually be supplied by PolyLearn. This would happen on assignments and quizzes and other items that have a set way of supplying grades, like how assignments have their separate way of grading. So if you ever notice that one of your boxes has turned yellow-orange, make sure that that's what you wanted, because you might have overridden a grade. That's all we have for manual grading in PolyLearn. If you have any more questions, please visit our support site at polylearnsupport.calpoly.edu or email us at polylearnsupport at calpoly.edu.